Each year we visit Colonial Williamsburg and I come away with many new ideas of, of furniture that I would like to build and many pictures of ideas. And here is one that I took this year in an out building, a kitchen in Williamsburg. And it shows a stool here that I would like to have in my shop. So I'm using the functions in SketchUp called Photo Match. And I imported this picture as a photo match. And then there are these perspective bars, red and green pairs of perspective bars that you position on elements of the object that you're trying to match. So I'm locating the green axis along that axis there and I'll put this red perspective bar on the bottom edge of the stool top. And that takes care of three of the perspective bars. I think there's one more one more green and I'll go ahead and locate that on the perpendicular edge of the bottom edge of the top of the seat. And it's a little bit dark back there but I think I can see the back edge of the seat. I did not take any dimensions of this piece while I was there in Williamsburg, but I have an idea that the, the width of that seat is about 11 inches. And therefore, I, using that dimension, I should be able to model up the proportion that pretty much satisfies the construction of this little stool. So I've grabbed the line tool and I'm coming up on the blue axis. I'm assuming that the foot is just about at the edge of the seat. And that makes sense. And I'll, I'll draw the, on the red axis the bottom edge of that seat. And then come up. Well, first I'm just going to go ahead and now scale the drawing so that this dimension here, the width of that seat is 11 inches. So I'm using the tape measure tool with a control key and it says that it's, and I do want to uh, resize the model to make that 11 inches and so I did that through the keyboard. So now I can come up on the blue axis for the height, the thickness of that seat. I'll make it an inch and a quarter, come down, and now I've got a face on the edge there. And I could just push pull that face, but I'll go ahead and draw this perpendicular face on the side of the seat. And there's another face. And come back on that. And now I've got the top pretty much. If you just orbit, you come out of the matched photo presentation and you can see what you've modeled. Now I've come back and clicked on the match photo uh, scene and and what I would like to be able to do it's very critical here is to find where the center of that leg 
protrudes through the top of the seat. So I'm using some guidelines to try to locate what I think is the, about the center of that of that leg as it comes through the seat. And then down at the bottom of the leg, I want to also locate where I think the the center the middle of that leg is. And then I will draw a center line of the leg from the top down to the bottom. Now I have a, an angle and a location for the leg as it comes through this, the seat. Okay, I would like to do some more modeling here and I'll orbit a little bit and take a look at this center line as it comes through the seat and it looks appropriate. but. That leg is an octagon, and I want to model the octagon shape. So I need to get a uh, a perpendicular octagon face that's perpendicular to this this uh, center line that I've drawn. So I'm going to come down on the blue axis and get a little triangle there. Uh, and then draw a guideline that is 90 degrees off that face. 90 degrees off that center line on the face. and just go ahead and change the orientation of that tri of that face so now i've got part of what i need i need another perpendicular to that face so sketchup will normally give me there it is, a perpendicular to the face line, edge, and I can draw a triangle there and have a face now that is normal to that leg center line. And I'm picking the, the tool for an octagon shape. Yes, eight sides, okay, and I hold it on that face and bring it out to the origin there. And I've got I've got a cross-sectional shape of the post of the leg and it should push pull right up through the center line right through into the through the seat okay there are a few extra things here to delete and clean up the model i would like to copy that leg now into the other three locations and I'm going to change the field of view here the photo match changes it to as a strange field of view angle so I'm going with a 75 millimeter 
field of view looks a little bit better to me. That's normally what I work at, at with furniture. And this seat is not complete. But first I want to create a, a component for this seat. So I went to parallel projection and a front view and selected the seat elements and made that a component. Now I can select all the leg pieces and make that a component. And this is a simple stool, so it's just two components. Edit the seat and finish up some of these edge, missing edges. Again, I could have push-pulled the face there and also completed that object. Now to copy the leg, and I'm going to make a little edge here, so that will give me a reference of how to locate the copies of the legs. Use the Move tool, bring it over. Now you can see that little edge representing the corner of the and I'm using that to position the copy after flipping it on the red axis. Add the other leg and copy these two along the green axis. Flip along green, and again I have this little corner here to help position the leg, legs. Now the last thing that needs to be done, but it would take a little bit longer than I want to do in this video, is to change the top of the leg to a one inch diameter tenon and I'll do that at a later time. Um, but this looks like a great representation and there is a little chamfer around the top edge of the seat. So I'll go ahead and put that chamfer in there edit the seat component, draw that diagonal, select the path, pick follow me, and click on the profile. That looks better. A couple little cleanups here. Another little extra edge. And I think that will be a handy stool in the shop or even in other places in the house. So let's see how that matches up with a photo. Yes, it looks like a very good match. And now on to the to the shop to build this